everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. Today's video is about the Sunlu AMS unit that I have recently reviewed on my channel. It's more in depth. I wanted to go over some of the specifications of that. Now, Sunlu themselves haven't released a lot of information on their website or out in the public domain. I know that's being released over the next week or so. I just wanted to let you all have a deeper look into this. Let's, I'm going to show you the, uh, the original lid versus this new attachment, some of the de differences in depth um, and the overall size, et cetera. And then we're going to have a look inside the heater unit itself and take a more in-depth look at this unit so that it gives you an option to make a decision on whether to purchase this or not. Now, like I say, Sunlu haven't released a lot of information, so I thought it would be a good idea to take a deep dive into this unit. Check out my unboxing review and installation still. I'll leave a link in the description. Stay with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Phil from 3DP UK. Let's head over into the in-depth look at the Sunlu AMS dryer attachment unit. Okay, as I previously mentioned, there aren't a great deal of specs out there on this Sunlu AMS. But like I said, in this video, we're just going to cover off some of the sort of simple things that you may be having questions over about sizes and the internals of the heater, etc. And that's what we're going to go through. So what right I'm doing right now is just measuring the um, original AMS lid. And on the outside, we're looking at about 103 millimeters. And then what we're going to do is just measure up the outside of the Sun Lu attachment and as you can see it's a little bit different but what i'm going to do with this tool is going to measure in the inside and that will give us a better indication of clearance etc about spools because i know some people have had attachments put on so what we're going to do is just measure up quickly now and as you can see on screen this is kind of the concept of this ams unit but what we're getting is about 106 millimeters um, for the total height of the new Sunlu AMS attachment. And on the old original, we're looking at about 103 to 102 millimeters. So there's about a six mil difference. And this is kind of a guesstimate. Realistically, there's not a great deal of difference in clearance. Obviously, this being a square unit on the Sunlu AMS and a curved on the original AMS lid. So what we're going to do is just measure the clearance at the back to see whether this would affect any um, spools. I have got some large spools in there at the moment and the clearance seems to be quite good. There aren't any sort of guides in there. It's literally just a curved edge in there. And as you can see, the clearance is about 108. So it's not too bad in that respect. The overall clearance of this is pretty much the same. The overall height is about 6 mil difference. And the actual width and depth is exactly the same. But obviously being the, the curved edge of the original. So really only some of the uh, um, actual specs they've given us is that it can heat up to 70 degrees in 20 minutes. It is space saving so you can actually stack up your 2M AMS units with the same um, actual units but you just need to have it slightly offset backwards. And it's a triple safety protection with a smart humidity control. And like I say it was really easy to install if you check out my video on this on my channel. Um, that will give you a description on how to actually install it. But what we're doing in this is just covering some of the specs and the visual differences between the original lid and the new AMS install. So with this unit, it does have the intelligent humidity monitoring setting. And that basically just, if you set it for 55 degrees, the default time on that is six hours. And after the countdown ends, the device doesn't shut down. It automatically starts heating when the humidity rises to 50%. And now a quick word from today's video sponsor, PCBWay.com. PCBWay are a PCB board manufacturer. But not only do they do PCB boards, they also do standard PCBs, advanced PCBs, FPC and rigid flex, assembly, SMD stencils and CNC and 3D printing services. You literally just click on that link, 
you put in your requirements and they can give you a specific cost in for your needs they also have 11 years of unstoppable progress and a competition at the moment so feel free to check them out that's pcbway.com today's video sponsor so I wanted to now show you the internal of the heating mechanism and kind of what you will see on the external and if I just remove the cover and to actually see the board and the blowers themselves. So I thought I'd show you that as an early indicator. Like I say, just continuing from the humidity, it has a range of 25% to 50% and you can automatically change that and after adjustment, the humidity automatically starts using this set value. So what I mean by that, through the automatic humidity control, is if the humidity rises to 50%, then the AMS heater will automatically start heating. If the humidity rises to 20%, then the AMS automatically starts heating. It really just depends on what setting you've put the humidity in at, and that will actually trigger the unit to come on, which is good if you want it to perform at certain humidity levels. So now that we've removed these two screws inside, obviously you wouldn't ordinarily be doing this if you've purchased the unit, but I just wanted to give an in-depth look into what actually is the internals of this Sundu AMS heater for the Bamboo Labs AMS unit. As you can see, it has the PTC plus fan heating and real-time temperature monitoring and automatic control of heating systems. And that is all controlled by this board in here. As you can see, there are two blower fans for the left and right. And this actually covers both one and two zones and three and four zones with each of those two blowers. And that basically distributes the heat across it. The maximum drying temperature is 70 degrees and when it exceeds this set value by 10% an alarm will be um, distributed from the actual board itself. Working to a set time and automatically shuts down when the time returns to zero. As you can see most of the wiring has been nicely connected up there. Um, doesn't seem to be any ferrules etc and it does look like they've made a good job on this like I say this is the beta version of this unit so there will be some cosmetic changes to this I'm sure I know that um, a few questions have been raised in my previous unboxing video and installation about whether it, the actual lid is translucent as you can see from my unit you cannot see the spools when the, the lid is shut However, I have been informed that this should change for the distribution version for the public. Um, as you can see, you've got the two blower vans, uh, fans on each side, and this basically creates a vortex inside. You've also got the um, humidity escape port, which is manually activated, which is one of my sort of negatives for this particular unit. And as you can see from the lid now, um, it is a square box so it's not the curved fascia and we're just going to have a look at the screen again um it does look quite nice on there the screen however was a bit clunky and i've noticed that the on and off button on the right hand side doesn't always necessarily work but once again this is the beta version so this could be one of the reasons for that you can choose pla tpu pet g uh, polycarbonate and a various other um filaments but you can also make some manual changes. You can change the humidity levels once again, as I said earlier, you can set it to come on for certain values and then it will trigger the machine to come on for that once it reaches a certain humidity level, which is ideal if you've um, got a project that's coming up but you've stored them in there, you now can keep your filaments within the AMS unit. So cosmetically, as I said, the internals, um, you can't see the filament spools. I just wanted to do a temperature reading test. As you can see from my uh, temperature gun, we're running at 50 degrees and it's running at 49 on the right hand side and about 45 on the left hand side. But that could be just a simple fact that I've had the lid open for a period of 20 seconds now. So the left hand side might not be reading. But as you can see, the actual flow is about 50 degrees so the temperature does come out quite uniformed. 
I just wanted to provide this video with sort of a bit more in-depth uh, visual look of it. I know I've previously brought out an unboxing and user f a version of this video, but I wanted to just show you a bit more cosmetically the internals, the workings, etc. If you have any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Once again, this is the original lid versus the new lid. There's about five five millimeters to six millimeters difference in height the actual um, working area is still exactly the same so when lifting it it still takes up the sp same space